Alright, Ed, how's everybody doing today? My name is Colby and this is my channel. Uh, we try to answer questions about amputees and things that might could help amputees, you know, going forward. Uh, this is a question I get asked a lot and it is, how do you know how many socks to wear? How do you know what do the color bands mean? and things like that and uh, there's a lot of different sock companies that have uh that have things different you know different color codes and things like that but in general it's gonna be blue is a five ply that's like five socks green is gonna be three ply obviously like three socks and then you have these little lightweights, uh, they're gray, black, different colors, they're one sock. Now between these three, you ought to be able to get the fit you need. What do I mean by that? Ooh, let's dive into it and see. Oh, try not to pull my antenna off. All right, so how you want to start it's easiest for me is if I start with too many. You know, if you didn't know. So I would start with, say, two. Let's go even go crazy just so we can go all the way and explain it. Let's start with three five plies. Which I know that's way too many. Now, when I try to put my leg on, it barely fits in there. I mean, it won't. Really, I could stand up and I could force it, force it, force it. But that's how you know when you're starting up so that we know that it's too many, right? I mean, I can barely even, I could stand up and maybe push that in, but that's how you know it's too many. Okay, so we're going to peel off a five and replace it with a one. So now I got 11 on, I got two fives and a one, okay? Now I push that in, still, you see it slips in, but then once it gets to where it clicks, I mean, I can sit here and waller and waller and waller and get it, but it's too tight, okay? So that means we went from a five to a one on this ply. So that means there's nothing after a one so if 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 nothing in between a five or a one works means we can peel this one completely off now we got two fives on there that's a ten now i can put that ten on there now that will click you heard it click but i know from where my prosthesis is so long that this will work but what it'll do is it'll have my legs falling asleep like if i'm driving if i'm in the car or if I'm in the passenger seat and I'm just sitting there, I'm going to have to ride most of the time with my leg popped open like this with, a, with this many socks on because it's just too tight. It'll make my leg go to sleep. So I'm going to pull this five off and now I'm down to one five and I'm going to put a three on. That's what I like is an eight, eight ply total. You know, I like to have a five and a three with this fit that I've got right here. Now something when you go to change your prosthesis, that'll change, but now watch. That will slip in perfect. And now I can move freely. You know, I can move real, real good. My leg feels good. I can bend as far as I want to. It just, it feels nice. But then we make sure we got our boxers, everything tucked in like we want. I'm standing up kind of retarded because I'm trying not to let this wire fall or trying not to unhook my sound for y'all. All right, so now we get all that done. And obviously you would go through your other side. You know, you would do your other side, but mine happens to be the same. Now the sock company that I was using before these, these are knit rights, but the ones I was using before these were backwards. The green was, where the heck is it at? The green was the five ply and the blue was the three ply. 
but with these knit rights, the blue is the five ply and the green is the three ply. But that's the best way to know uh, how is just to put them on and fill it out, walk it around and always start with more because it's easier to go down and it does less damage on your leg if you've got too many socks on because then it's holding you in place good. But if you have on too few socks, then your leg will sink down in there and it will hit the bottom of your prosthesis, your residual limb hits the bottom of the prosthesis right there. That's the last thing you want is your residual limb hitting the bottom of that prosthesis. You want it to be so tight. I mean, if, if you're going to have it one way or the other, too tight or too loose, you want it too loose so that way your residual limb never makes it to the bottom and your leg will just fall asleep. Then you know, all right, so my leg's falling asleep, so I need to take a sock off and let it sink a little further. Let it sink a little further, but you keep playing with it till you get it, and I promise you, you'll get it. This wearing prosthesis thing and walking around ain't rocket science. It's actually just an adaptation you have to make to your life. All right, I love y'all. Thanks for spending this time with me. Much love, everybody.